Happy Monday, everyone. We've had a lot of esports news over the weekend. I'm Stella Chung, and in today's Compete Fix, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2's multiplayer is missing big features at launch, League of Legends community is calling for a new Zeka Award for Worlds 2022, and there's a new competitive Valorant game mode launching in Alpha soon. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer launched October 28th and it's had a mixed bag of reactions from the community. While I enjoyed my first few hours in the game, I did experience some bugs on PC like random white screen flickering throughout some matches, crashes, and server problems. But I also noticed some missing content from the base game. While there will be some feature updates to come with each new season launch, a lot of Call of Duty players voice their frustrations and disappointments. While there will be some feature updates to come with each new season launch, a lot of Call of Duty players voice their frustrations and disappointments with the lack of ranked play, hardcore playlists, custom reticles and blueprints, and combat record stats. Most players, though, were upset about the lack of hardcore. The good news is that the Hardcore playlist will arrive November 16th with Season 1, but the playlist is now called Tier 1. Operators will have less health in that mode, limited HUD elements, and Friendly Fire will be on. So it's the same thing, just a different name. But November isn't too far off and you can accidentally shoot your friends in Tier 1 mode soon. With Worlds 2022 well underway, League of Legends fans this weekend called on Riot via social media to add a new Zeka award. The award suggestion is named after DRX's mid laner Zeka, who outperformed at the Grand Finals of Worlds and helped his team defeat Gen G. In that series, Zeka's score was 10, 4, 16, and his KDA at the main event was 6.0. At Esports Kobe on Twitter said, We need a new award for breakout superstar on the international stage for Zeka. This man is a beast. The Zeka Award would most likely be given to a player with no expectations of particularly outstanding performance, but coming out on top as the star player. Either way, it is a huge accomplishment for DRX and Zeka to move on to Worlds on November 5th and face off against Faker and T1. Good luck to both teams, and I can't wait to see them play live. Even with Riot being busy with Worlds, they haven't forgotten about Valorant players. There's a new competitive game mode that will be launching in an alpha testing period soon. This game mode encourages a higher goal above Radiant, which is the current highest rank in the game, to fuel more competitive players. Premier is meant to bridge the gap between competitive play and pro play, since the top teams in the seasons can qualify for a tournament to win the division championship. This mode will have teams of five and prearranged matches in seasons, which are roughly a few weeks long. You can then build a team roster that will be placed in a division to play in weekly matches and tournaments. Premier is only about 60% complete according to Riot, but is coming to alpha testing for Brazil. Hopefully the rest of the world gets to try it on alpha soon as well. How do you feel about Modern Warfare 2's hardcore mode being renamed and delayed? Are you excited for Worlds Finals? Let us know! I'm Stella Chung, and now that you're all caught up on the news, be sure to watch my Apex Legends Season 15 breakdown on all the new updates coming to the next season of Apex. And of course, for all things esports news, be sure to stay tuned right here at IGN every Monday to get caught up.